wanted to give you guys an updated version of Active Directory, the inspection with Roar. So if I take a look at Active Directory here, of course, on the overview screen, I've got a summary of my domain details, including privileged user details. I can see if there are any stale users here. Uh, also, uh, a list of uh, servers and workstations as well, uh, and the specific servers related to that domain. Uh, down at the bottom, I've got group policy information as well. Uh, remember that uh, every inspection of Roar has this timeline where you can rewind back in time, see these configurations changing over time. I can see a list of my users. I can identify who the privileged users are. All of the tables in Roar are exportable. I can see a list of computers, uh, groups, uh, all of those deep details. Now let's flip over. Uh, I want to show you guys something new, and that's in our metrics tab. So there are specific metrics that you want to look for within Active Directory, and those are defined uh, right here as well. And those, for instance, will also flip over to our billing uh, review tab where we hit the ConnectWise agreements, and I can choose specific uh, metric in Active Directory that I want to bill by. So for instance, I'm billing by the number of servers. I can see that those match right here, ConnectWise on the left, Roar Inspection on the right. Now let's take a look at what that looks like in ConnectWise as well. So remember everything that's on the overview screen is what is going to land automatically in the ConnectWise configurations. Every time Roar does an inspection, this is automatically updated and it is important to have those details in ConnectWise for ITIL purposes. Anytime Roar identifies through our continuous assessments that something needs your attention, remember we have full loop ticket integration with your service board in ConnectWise as well. Now let's shift gears to IT Glue. Remember all of our data from the Roar inspections. Um, if you do own IT Glue, that is an advantage. All of our data lands as live tables and flexible assets in IT Glue, including our timeline. Remember that shows up under revisions. You can rewind back in time, see those configuration details changing. Usually if something breaks, it's because something changed somewhere. Remember that folks. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for checking out uh, our video. One final thing I did want to show you, remember that all of this data is searchable as well, so I can find a specific user with an Active Directory if I'm on the service desk. If you have any questions, let us know. Please check out our other videos. Thank you.